Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I'm just going to do a little bit of a holiday Yorkie update video. I have some kind of cool stuff to tell you guys and um, I'm actually, come on, I'm going to pick up Poppy as I talk to you. So I am getting my puppies ready to go on a walk and I think I'm just going to get them ready as I give you um, our pretty exciting update. So I make a lot of videos that are about how to, I'm taking out her little ponytail, um, how to take care of your Yorkshire Terrier, what to expect when you get a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, and this video is more of, it's kind of like a Yorkie vlog because there's just been a lot going on with us. Um, it's been the holidays and it's like, obviously it's the weirdest holiday ever, but we have been making the best of it. And I have to say like, if there's one great thing about Yorkshire Terriers, it's that you are never alone and um, they just really, Poppy really needs to be brushed. Look at her poor little face. Um, but anyway, they never leave you alone. They always make you smile. And um, I just, I love my Yorkies so much. Um, I never get tired of them. The only drawback is probably how much they bark. But anyway, so I have a really important thing or it's, I don't know if it's important to you guys, but it's exciting for me. Um, and that is that we are adding a new member to our family. Now I will say the new member of the family is not another Yorkshire Terrier. As much as I am absolutely addicted to Yorkshire Terriers, they do take a lot of maintenance and work and things like that. And I think that adding one more just wouldn't really be fair. So I have to say, I, I was really, really tempted to get another Yorkshire Terrier. And the reason why is that, um, I don't know if you guys know the difference between my dogs, but my dog Alfie is actually, um, he's not neutered and it's because I share him with a breeder. And so his puppies were just born. And it was so, so tempting to get a puppy. And I thought, I thought so much about it because, you know, I love them so much and I feel like it's my grand puppy. I know that sounds crazy, but I, um, I did not have kids of my own. Like these are my kids. So I felt like he would be my grand puppy if I got, if I got one of Alfie's little puppies and I was really tempted to, but I think at a certain point, um, you know, Yorkies are, sorry that I'm looking away as I look for my smaller comb to clean out Poppy's eyes. Um, but you know, Yorkies are, they're expensive and they're time consuming. And I, I think it, at some point, if I would just continue to get more Yorkies, it would be unfair to the Yorkies that I have because they really like attention and walks and things like that. And honestly, like I just can't see myself. Um, I, was a bad Yorkie owner and I did not brush them on Christmas day. I wound up going out to dinner and um, we all had like a lazy day on the couch. So anyway, so long story short, and the other thing I'm just going to apologize in advance for, a lot of you have been asking what breeder I use and she actually wants to remain, you know, just she wants to have her privacy. Um, you know, she has beautiful, beautiful dogs, but were she to start getting contacted, you know, by people from YouTube, she would just be dealing with, you know, so many contacts and emails to returns and return and things like that. So, um, and the other thing too, the other reason that I wouldn't recommend going to my breeder, even though she's great, is that the best thing to do is either to adopt a dog or to find a breeder in your area. Because if you find a breeder and they're willing to ship you a dog, it is just not the dog that, that you want because good breeders should not be willing to ship puppies. It's just, it's, it's not a nice thing to do. I'm sorry if anybody does this and you know, you're watching this video. I, I don't think it's nice. I think it's puppies are too little and it's a lot of stress to be shipped and it's just, it's just not a good way to start your life. So anyway, can't share the information about where he came from, but you know, as I always tell everyone that's looking for a puppy, just go ahead and look on the website for the Yorkshire Terrier Association of America. And that is such a great place to start when you're looking for a Yorkie because they have, um, they have great, great breeders. Um, but again, look at the rescues. Like you will not love a dog any less because it's not a puppy. And you actually might find it to be less stressful to get a, a grown dog than a puppy because having a puppy is a lot of work. Um, so I did digress for 
a really, really, really long time. Um, <laughs> but I was just explaining, you know, what started this big news for me. So originally I wanted to get one of Alfie's puppies and I was super tempted, but I decided it wasn't a good idea. So we are getting <laughs> a 12 week old giraffe. No, I'm just kidding. We're not getting a giraffe. We are getting a 12 week old Siberian kitten. Um, I know this is like a big shocker, even, even for the vet that sees me with all of my dogs. He was a little bit shocked when he found out that I was getting a cat, but also very excited. Um, I did grow up with cats, so I have had them quite a bit. I just haven't had a cat since I lived at my mom's house, which was when I was 19. So it was 25 years ago. But anyway, Siberians, if you don't know about them, are um, they're on the larger size. They tend to be, you look great, by the way, Poppy. You look just great. Now Lola wants it to be her turn. Come here, you can, you can go back here. Come on. Everybody knows that when they get brushed, it's just about time to go on the dog walk and that's why they're, they're so excited. Um, but anyway, so Siberians are, they're very dog-like. Um, they come when they're called. They like to play. Um, they're affectionate. Uh, supposedly they get along well with dogs. I'm a little bit apprehensive um, only because my Yorkies are definitely, they're just, they're kind of pushy. Like I love them to pieces, but I am going to have to watch them really, really carefully to make sure that they, oh, whoops. Um, I might've just cut a little bit of Lola's hair with the scissors. Sorry, Lola. I didn't mean to do that. Did I really cut your hair? Yeah, I did. Whoops. Um, anyway, so they're, <laughs> I am the worst at completely digressing, but um, so they're really, really friendly cats. They're lower on the allergen scale, which should be really helpful because my husband is very allergic to cats, but most of the time, even people that are very allergic seem to do well with these cats. Um, I'm not totally sure of what his name will be. Uh, one name I was thinking of was uh, Simba. Another one is Misha. Um, I thought about Pasha, but I feel like Pasha and Poppy just don't really sound right together. Um, and right now, you're looking so good, Lola. Right now, his name is Cheslov, um, which is cute too. I mean, I just, oh, somebody jumped off without her stairs, which she's not supposed to do. So I have to meet him to, to know what name is, is best. And, you know, I've been looking up a lot of articles on are Yorkies good with cats. And I think there are really different things in all of the articles. I think it probably depends on your Yorkies. And um, so I'm going to be, the plan is going to be for me to separate them when I first get them. So I've been really organizing our guest room and um, getting rid of anything that he could possibly get into, you know, to choke on or make himself sick or anything like that. And um, also like just researching because I know so, so much about Yorkies. Um, I don't know as much about cats. So there's been a lot of learning and I'll, and I'll definitely be learning about it and things like that. Um, and I'm going to film some of the interactions with the Yorkies and the cat, um, and I just hope it goes really, really well. I mean, it's just gonna be a slow thing, and I will especially be watching Lola because she is probably the most aggressive of my Yorkies. Um, the good news is she doesn't have any teeth, so she really couldn't hurt the kitten, but she could scare the kitten, so anyway. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is the update that nobody expected from me, but I'm so, so excited. Um, and I feel like this year, um, I guess I just, I, I needed like a little bit of extra joy, if you will, because it was a year where, I mean, a lot of good things, I guess, happened to me. Like I still managed to make this a good year, but um, I feel excited, kind of like I'm a little kid, like thinking about you know, picking up the kitten and things like that. And I'm just really hoping that the dogs love the kitten and get used to the kitten um, and all of those things. So do any of you guys have a dog and a cat? And if you do, what has been your experience with having them together? 
Um, did it take a while for them to get along? Did they get along right off the bat? Um, I'm really, really curious if you guys have any um, words of wisdom for me and things like that. Um, but anyway, so that's really, that's the update. Everybody's doing really well. Um, it was really rainy here, like pouring rain, so we didn't get a walk in yesterday, but I'm going to take them on a nice walk in just a couple of minutes. He's like, I don't know if you can see Alfie, but he's, he's jumping up and down. So, and this is the, he really needs his hairbrush. He's next, but this is the dog that just fathered puppies. I think they're about, I think they're about two months old now and they're so, they're so, so, so cute. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the big excitement but it's going to be a fun adventure. I'll make some videos about it. And um, I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos. I, I love all the comments and um, sorry for this, this long, long video, but I just wanted to say, I, I love the comments from you guys so much. Um, it, it's just like great. I love interacting, hearing what you guys think and answering your questions for you. And I just want to say how much your support means to me because there have been so many parts of this year where I just got so down and you know I, I felt like I wasn't accomplishing things and you have been helping me to grow my YouTube so quickly um, and I, I just appreciate it. I appreciate your support and your comments and you know watching my videos and you know whether you like them or you don't like them I always want to know what you think. Um, so I hope you guys are having the best holiday you can possibly have. I know that this year is far from perfect, but um, I, I'm happy to be here. I'm so happy that all my babies are healthy and well, and I am really happy to have you guys, and I will talk to you soon. I hope you stay healthy and beautiful, and Merry Christmas from Lola. Come here, Pops. You wanna come say hi too? Poppy, and Alfie, you wanna come say hi? Come on. Come on, you're such a good boy. <laughs> Sorry, that was so drawn out. And Alfie, we really appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you soon. And uh, the puppy, oops, that was Freudian. The kitten is coming home on the 31st, and I'm gonna make sure to set up my cameras before I even bring him home so that I can just like capture when he comes home because I think I'm gonna need all of my hands free to watch these guys because they are going to probably go crazy. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.